Well, let's listen to what uh, Doug Parker of American and Gary Kelly of Southwest said just a few moments ago. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all? We, we defer. Do you guys want to make a statement or we can ask questions? No, let's we'll, we'll make a quick statement. Look, um, we're all here. We airline CEOs are here uh, on behalf of the people that work for us um, who are doing great jobs out there taking care of, of uh, keeping our country moving when our country's largely paralyzed with fear. Uh, they're out there putting their uniforms on, going to work every day and making sure we're moving. And without action, uh, they're going to uh, they're gonna be furloughed on October 1st, and it's not fair. It's not fair to them. It's not fair to our country. Uh, there's enormous bipartisan support for an extension of the payroll support program, which would keep those people employed. Um, and the only problem we have is we don't have a vehicle for getting it done. Uh, we need to have a COVID relief package that includes that. So we're just here to plea uh, with um, everyone involved to get to a COVID relief package before October 1st. On October 1st, those people are furloughed, um, and we just want to make people understand that without that, um, that's absolutely what's going to happen. In small communities, we'll lose service. So uh, we made that plea today uh, to Mr. Meadows. He's heard it before. He understands. Uh, um, I, we believe they're very much interested in getting to a, in getting to a deal, um, and uh, we're going to continue to work uh, now with the speaker as well to make sure that uh, she also is uh, understands the situation. I believe she does. We've been in contact with her, uh, but more work to do. We need a relief package done uh, to get this uh, PSP extension approved. It's not about the PSP extension. Enormous bipartisan support for that. It's about getting a relief package done between now and October 1st. So just for housekeeping quickly, you met with Meadows, with the president. Are you meeting with the president of this group at any point today? It was Mr. Meadows only. Well, and, and are you meeting with Speaker Pelosi at some point today in person? or We have a request. Have a request. Yeah, we reached out. Yeah, we had a very good meeting with the chief. And, uh, as Doug said, you know, our country is is fighting this pandemic. We have a long way to go to recover. Uh, the first CARES Act kept this country out of a depression. Yeah. And I think the only mistake uh, that, that uh, was made is it just didn't go far enough and long enough. So um, we're, we're obviously here supporting the airlines and our people. Um, there's very broad bipartisan support, as Doug was describing, and uh, uh, Chief Meadows assured us uh, that the White House uh, is very interested in getting something uh, done, so we reached out uh, to the Speaker, uh, just encouraged the two sides to work together so that we can save jobs, uh, and really in a broader sense, save this economy. And uh, uh, we're obviously very hopeful, but we're down to the bitter end of this with the uh, first uh, payroll support program expiring at the end of this month. And a number of the airlines have already announced thousands, tens of thousands of furloughs. Uh, real people, real jobs, uh, that certainly won't help the economy. And it's bigger than the airlines. Uh, we're just, we're, we're a, a small part of the economy, but a meaningful one. And uh, we appreciate the time uh, with you all this morning. So, so, how, much, so gonna, how much, we've got to go to. How much uh, money specifically are you requesting and how long could that last you? Clean extension of the first. Clean extension of the PSP. And, and so, so, March 30, so in other words, bailout as opposed to borrowing. The airlines are not looking to borrow, right? You're looking for. Clean extension of the PSP, the exact same yeah, provisions, just extended six months. Thank, thank you all very much. Money goes directly to employees. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, Gary Kelly of Southwest, Doug Parker of American. Uh, Phil LeBeau joins us, uh, Phil, on a day where some airlines are also trying to access the capital markets like Delta. Yeah. Yeah, Delta upsizing the uh, the amount of money that they're borrowing against the frequent flyer program. They announced it last week, $6.5 billion. Today they said we're going to take out a term loan facility for an additional $2.5 billion. So cash is king, as we've talked about. You want to have as much liquidity as on hand for the next 18 to 24 months. And, Carl, one important point. I don't know if you could hear at the end of that when somebody says, what are you looking for? Are you looking for an extension of the CARES Act? And they said, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Why is that important? They are not looking to borrow money from the Treasury Department. They're already leveraged to the hilt. What they are looking for? Grants. Grants from the, money, from the government that they will not have to repay so that they can then pay the employees who otherwise will be furloughed come October 1st. And the key is you got to have some kind of legislation. 
You got to have a vehicle. You don't have a vehicle. It doesn't matter if the Republicans and Democrats agree to help the airlines. You got to have something passed. 